Hey guys, what's up? Nick the Nutter Buster, and today we're going to talk a little bit about the tree hopper hand drill. Somebody pointed out on the forum, I was uh, asking some ideas for some videos that we hadn't covered yet, and somebody pointed out that I'd done some videos talking about the tree hopper mini drill, which is about the slickest little climbing system you can get. Uh, they pointed out that we'd done that video, uh, kind of talking about it several times, and that I had shown videos of climbing a tree. And, and kind of the time that that takes um, from start to finish and comparing it to climbing with climbing sticks. You know, a lot of people think that climbing sticks or spurs or whatever is a lot quicker way to, uh, to climb. But something that just I've come to find is that when you average everything out, like the time from you leaving your truck to the time you get back to your truck. So the walk in, unpacking all your gear at the base of the tree, climbing up, getting everything situated, climbing down, packing everything up, and going back to the truck. This hand drill is just as fast or faster than most other methods of climbing because it just goes in your pocket. That's that's packing it. All right, it's packed. It's unpacked. Uh, you don't have to strap anything to a stand. You're not messing with sticks banging together or anything. And then when you come down the tree, yeah, you got to drill and go up the tree. When it's time to go home, you just pull the bolts on your way down, and you're done, right? Uh, so it's very quick climbing down the tree and leaving the woods. And the dude with his sticks, he'll still be trying to wrap straps around them and get them on his backpack and keep them from clanking. And you're already going back to the truck. So he may beat you up the tree, but he won't beat you down. And then if you decide that you're going to come back and hunt that tree the next day, it's already drilled and you just slide your bolts in and go up. But something that we haven't talked about and something that some people struggle with is actually drilling the hole how do you space the hole where do you put the hole on the tree so we're going to kind of talk about that some today um so i've got a tree here the first thing to keep in mind all right what i would say is if you were going to be using a drill you need to be cognizant of two things about your body right one is going to be the length all right right here from your end step to your knee that becomes a very important measurement all right people ask how high can i get with x amount of bolts like to get to 20 feet how many bolts am i going to have to have most people can step knee high all right is what i have generally found so if you know that measurement then you know how high you can climb with x amount of bolts you know 10 bolts times say if that measurement's just you know 20 inches you're going to get 200 inches up in a tree um, divide that by 12 and you got your number in feet uh, you can stretch it like on a day like today it's 70 degrees i'm in just pants and a t-shirt i can stretch that a little bit when it's colder you know it's going to be more like from here to maybe here you know you can lose a few inches versus the top of your knee so you need to be aware of that and then the other thing that you need to be aware of just for comfort is how do you stand how how wide apart are your feet like if i stand here and i look down at my feet all right just standing flat on the ground there's about that much space between the, the arch of my foot between my instep okay and my feet kind of stand out at an angle like that so you want to be able to put that on a tree all right it's real easy you can walk up to a tree and you can tell how you're going to climb it a little bitty tree like softball size you're basically going to come in 180 degrees and just climb straight up it a big tree just measure and it, it's usually going to be like right here kind of like like this is y'all gonna laugh but like nipple to nipple all right that's about how wide you want them bolts that's where you want them bolts going in at the base of the tree and then you want them angled out so like on this tree right here if i was going to walk up this tree and climb it i wouldn't try to put a bolt here and then 180 degrees over here because then i'm going to be trying to straddle the tree as i climb it i'm going to be walking bow-legged up a tree okay you don't want to do that you don't want to put them super close to each other because then you're going to be kind of climbing up toe holds you're going to want to walk up to them and if i walk up here right about here and here all right i'm going to want one going in an angle here i'm going to want one going in an angle here and it's kind of hard to see that angle uh, and then for spacing you're going to want to go roughly knee high uh, so what i do when i walk up to the base of a tree that's why i kind of got the video set low so i can kneel down i'm going to walk up to this tree and as i kneel down to start drilling that first hole well here's my knee so I'm going to go right here, and, and you're just going to put your hand into the tree. I usually rest my forearm against it to steady it. And you're going to want to give it 10 or 12 turns until it starts to bite good. All right. Once you feel chips start coming out, 
you can go ahead and you can hammer down on it. At first, you're going to want to kind of go slow and press in because you got to get that bit started. And you're going to drill. You're going to feel pressure. When you get toward the end, you're going to feel a lot of pressure. Power through that, and it'll start to almost free spin. And you'll start to see it really spitting out a bunch of shavings. That means you've cleaned your hole out. Pull it out. And that's your first bolt in a tree. And then we're going to come, like I said, just about kind of nipple width, as odd as that is. We're going to come up, right about here. We're going to put our foot up there so we're stepping about knee high. And we're going to come right here. All right, and you may have to move that inch or two. There may be something in the way. Sometimes you'll have branches, stuff like that in the way. But more or less, you can put a bolt exactly where you want it, even if there's a knot or a high spot or a low spot or a flat spot on the tree. The stuff that's a problem when you were using climbing sticks, not really a problem with bolts because it goes straight in the tree. All right. So that's good. And now I also, the reason a lot of people I think have trouble climbing with bolts is because they're either trying to reach up here and drill, they're trying to reach down here and drill. You want to get... I usually like to drill right here about sternum height, okay? So you can see here's my bolt, here's my sternum. It's kind of right there anywhere up in here, chest high. That's where you want to be drilling. Um, and that's why I kneel. I'll kind of kneel, squat down to drill that first one. I'll drill this one, and then some people will go ahead and try to get that third one, but you're reaching up above your head, and that can get tiring. So I just go ahead, once I've got them first two in the tree, and I know that they're seated good, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put my lineman's belt around the tree and start climbing. And then you just repeat that process. Drilling with your right hand. Drilling with your right hand. Or with your left hand. Um, and some people are like, well, does it, does it wear you out? Do you get tired? No, not really. You know, usually I've done walked a mile or two back in the woods. So I'll be honest, I'm already a little bit tired. You know, it ain't like I'm sitting on my sofa. But people are like, well, does it make you sweaty? If, if you're going to sweat drilling, you was probably sweating walking in, you know. That just is what it is. If it's 80 degrees and you bow hunt early season, yeah, you're going to sweat. But you was already going to sweat, you know, climbing with sticks or whatever. So we're going to take we're gonna take a quick look at this because I know it's hard to see them black bolts on that tree. Let's see if I can get this camera off here for you guys. All right. Just so y'all can get a good look. You can see here's my first bolt. All right, and it's more or less knee high. And when you come up here, this one, when I put my foot up on there, look at that, there's the top of my knee, there's my bolt. It's very, very easy. It works very, very well. We'll show you kind of what that looks like back up a little bit. You can see you got one down there, you got one right there, and you can see how they're spaced, all right? And sometimes I'll do that measurement right there, usually, that just so happens if you put your palm on your chest you'll notice just conveniently it kind of covers right there nipple to nipple so when you climbing if you want to know where to put that bolt that's your other measurement you can come straight up and you'll see it's right there within an inch of just your hand span on that tree now we'll walk over to something like this okay we got some smaller trees if i wanted to climb this little old bitty skinny thing you can see when i put my hands around like that all right they go out past the base of the tree so i'm gonna be drilling here i'm gonna be drilling here on this tree you know i'm gonna have one about here that's gonna be my left bolt that's gonna be my right bolt i'm not gonna go all the way out on the side of the tree if we go over here this is really getting to be a little bit bigger of a tree than what i'd want to get up in just because it's hard to throw that lineman's belt around it. But I would climb it. And you can see that space. And I'd have a bolt coming in here. I'd have a bolt coming in here. Okay. And you can angle them bolts. Keep in mind. It don't have to go straight into the tree. You can angle it a little bit. You don't want to go too crazy with that angle. Because then you're just catching bark. And it'll rip out. But you can angle that sucker a little bit. To splay it out. So it's not sticking in here and here. You always want to be able to comfortably put your foot. And have the direction of your foot from your toes to your heel that line you want it to be running more or less perpendicular to your bolt um, go ahead and put us back here 
Hey, quality. Anyway, sorry, bumped the button while we were setting the camera up. So that is basically how I climb with my tree hopper mini. Um, just some other tips about that mini. Do keep a close eye on that little bit right there. Okay. If you break that, your drill's trashed. You got to get you another drill bit, uh, which they are replaceable. You can see on the mini, you got that little Allen bolt right there. I don't know if you can see it in the sun. You can back that out, pop a new, new bit and a new sleeve on. Sometimes you'll get some chips up on that sleeve. Try to keep that clean. Um, and then I do oil this thing periodically. I'm not super picky. I'd like to say I was hardcore and only used vegetable oil or pure silicone or whatever to cut down on scent, but my butt stinks enough, especially during bow season, that, and, and I oil my firearms and stuff like that, so generally I just put rim oil or CLP or um, if I do have silicone on hand at the moment, I'll put that on there. Heck, I've, I've put 10W40 motor oil on it just to keep it from, if you turn it and you hear it going reeky, 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 and it's squeaking, Grease it. I'd rather it smell a little bit than be squeaking and making noise on me and feeling rough and it just ain't, it ain't pleasant. So, but anyway, I do appreciate you guys watching. Thanks for the feedback. Um, do let me know what you would like to see in the future on the channel. I'm open to ideas. Until next time, this has been Nutter Buster. Thanks for watching.